Hey guys, it's 7 Ninja, and today we'll be talking about a Black Widow stealth build. Basically, we're gonna try to get Villa Shadows or using your smoke grenade to keep you invisible as long as possible. And while you're invisible, get your charge back up again so that you can pop your Villa Shadows right after that, or at least have enough that you can get your Vanish and Smoke ability up. So, we will get into that now. For your primary tree, I mean, you're going to get all of it if you get the level 50, but let's say you're starting out just like recently. Um, really just something for like uh, your heavy finisher, like uh, the light, light, light into heavy. Um, getting at least all your th three gun types, you know, just something like that. I would build for it. I'd take it in the primary for early game, but if you're talking about you like you have everything, I mean, you're probably going to have your primary tree fully unlocked anyway. So, moving on. For Veil of Shadows, I'm focusing in Night Terror and I'm focusing in Eclipse. Night Terror for more time and a critical attack chance, which will help me boost my intrinsic, and Eclipse because the other two help out your teammates for more time and more crit chance. But the issue is that a lot of times you're probably going to be going to pop Veil of Shadows to deal with the enemies yourself, and you also don't want to detaunt Hulk or somebody. So that's why I choose these two. For was Widow's Bite, I use Lightning Fist and I use Paralyzing Bite. Paralyzing Bite because it builds up more stun, and stuns help you get more takedowns. And Lightning Fist because a lot of times when I'm doing melee combat, I'll, I'll end up popping my Lightning Fist to either knock away or destroy a giant shield on whatever enemy I'm fighting. And I find it to be better than the regular Widow's Bite and the uh, sticky Widow's Bite. The extra charges help out a lot, but I wouldn't get another charge versus getting stunned. So that's why I chose Paralyzing Bite and why I chose Lightning Fist. For Power Surge, I chose Galavanic Bites and I chose Kilowatt. Galavanic Bite helps out with um, Widow's Bite and I use Widow's Bite often even when I'm using Power Surge. Along with having the uh, staff also cause a lot more stun for Kilowatt, allows me to build up a lot of stun for takedowns. And because of that, I usually build into building for stun, building for takedowns to get my abilities faster. Now we're going to be talking about the strategy of the intrinsic ability. So what you want to do for Shadow Ops is you want to build up your intrinsic meter as fast as possible so that you can dish out either a lot of damage while invisible or you want to pop a smoke grenade. You can only pop a smoke grenade when you have an overcharged uh, bar for your intrinsic. Now once you pop the smoke grenade you're invisible but your overcharged bar is gone immediately. There's no drain, it just disappears. So that's how that works. But to get it, remember if you see now you got critical attacks for random fifty percent more intrinsic shadow ups, you want to build your you want to build your critical attack chance so that you can get intrinsic energy off your crits, you want to get it off of your perfect dodges, and you want to get it off your raw damage. And so that's just really the strategy of the um, intrinsic bar, or shadow ops for anyone wants to know. So, here you go. Finally, onto the mastery tree. For my intrinsic ability, I focused into more critical damage on my overcharge, I focused on getting more intrinsic charge on any attack, and I focused on heroic energy on overcharge. I did all of this so that I could funnel everything back into Vela Shadows. I wanted to build up my Black Widow so that she could always be invisible and to do that I needed to be make sure either A my intrinsics up or my heroic is up. And so that was how I did I built intrinsic ability. Next onto my ranged the only thing that matters in the range tab, at least for me, is having extended magazines. Because I don't need to worry about recoil too much as it's not hard to hit your targets and because I don't need to reload but because simply all I need to do is just switch my pistol, it's easier just to have a bigger mag so that I can put out more bullets on whatever I'm trying to stun. For my invisibility tab, I was focused on stun while invisible, while invisible also having my heroic energy faster on damage. Uh, it got bugged during a mega hive, that's why it's two, but should just be one. But if I had the choice for two, I'd choose the top and middle. And for my last bit of my invisibility, I chose crit on range as I use full auto just to build up my intrinsic uh, bar. For my utility tab, I focused mostly on just getting heroic energy and stuns. Everything I've done in this build is purely focused on 
getting either a stun, a takedown, or getting my intrinsic up. That's all I ever want to do is get my invisibility up as much as possible. Lastly, I didn't really want to talk about it earlier, but I figured I'd probably put it out there. So the Ring of Nibbling is really good for getting orb efficiency. So it may cost me like 8 orbs for like a Veil of Shadows again. With the Ring of Nibbling, it's like 4 to 5 um, orbs, uh, depending. So if you want to use something to get rid of all the heroic energy needs and just focus on something else, the Ring of Nibbling is really good for that. The only issue is you're losing your major artifact in case you wanted something like the Damage Thorn, the Dark Thorn, or the Tachyon. So that's up to you. Anyway guys, that's it for me. I kind of just wanted to do some short video guide. It didn't really feel like it needed to be too long. I'm just explaining how my Black Widow build works. There's probably something better than what I've done in some degree, but as of all of my testing and all the um, grinding I've done, I found that this build works all the time. Now, um, going back a little bit before, um, when I told you about getting uh, more time in your specialty tree, getting more time with the critical chance, I found if I'm more worried about a ins uh, team play, that I don't get a lot of heroic orbs, I will switch it to the one below that that gives you heroic energy orbs on um, enemy defeats while in Veil of Shadows. Now, that's just the um, last remarks, but that is something that I would do. Um, that being said, normally I don't have that issue. So, use, it, use that information with how you will. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos, uh, remember to check me out. Hit the live notification button on the live notification button. Hit the, uh, r the bell icon and hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys later. Uh, thanks for coming by. Goodbye.